So we're coming to a spiral roundabout and we're going to be going ahead and there's going to be two options when we get there to go ahead, different lanes. So we'll, we'll use both lanes so you can see the difference and where you're going to end up. So lots of people get confused and then once we've done that, we'll do right turns on the spiral roundabout at the same time. So we'll do the head first in the two different lanes. So let's get going. So ahead of us, we've got the spiral roundabout. We're going to go ahead, second exit. Now if we slow it down a little bit, you can see the lane markings, left goes left, middle goes ahead, and right goes ahead. So start with the middle lane first, and we're just going to slow down for the traffic. And it's quite important, lots of people get confused with all the lanes ahead of them. So I'm just waiting safely, a little bit of gas, I'm in first gear, a bit of biting point. And the middle lane becomes the left at this point, because the left lane on the approach disappeared left. And off we come, a nice easy one to do and you stay in the left lane, and no matter what happens, you're in the left lane, so there's no confusion, the curb's next to you all the way, so there should be no drifting. So let's go and do ahead with the middle lane now. So a quick recap then, on the last one we went ahead at, we used the middle lane. The left lane went left on the roundabout, disappeared. The middle lane goes ahead and comes to the left lane on the roundabout. This time, we're gonna use the right lane on the approach to go ahead. Now, this might seem a bit more confusing for the, the new drivers of spiral roundabouts, but what you've got to remember is when you do enter, everything comes across to the left at some point. So I'm going to start in the right and come across to the middle. That's taking the second exit at the same time. So and I'm going to use the right lane because it's telling me on the ground there. I can, you, I can either go ahead or right, so I'm going to go ahead. So there's no signal required. It's clear on me right, so I'll start in the right lane, check my left mirror coming to the middle, that's where I want to be and then mirror signal left to come off in the middle lane it's as simple as that that's where it's done so ahead of us is the spiral roundabout we're going to take the third exit so we're checking our mirror signaling you can see the right lane just appearing it says right lane to go right checking to the right it's clear to enter now I'm not going to stay in the right lane at this point, I'm checking my left side with my right signal on and coming into the middle. Going round, because I want to come off in the left eventually. There's your second exit. Coming across to the left side, checking my left signals as well as I've done my mirrors before at the same time. And then coming off in the left lane. If I stayed in the right lane as I entered, I'd probably come off in the middle lane, which will eventually be the right lane on that point there. So we'll do that bit again, so you can see it again, from, from a different direction, but the same idea. So what we're going to do now is a right turn third exit, again, so, so we can see it repeated again, different direction, and then we'll finish off with a right turn fourth exit U-turn, it'll be after that. So here it comes, checking our mirrors, signaling to the right, everyone knows where we're going to go, we're going to use the right lane and then we're going to go to the middle and then come to the left just like we, we did before we're just going to slow down for the traffic so there's a bit more traffic so it's important to practice this one and get quite good at it and then you'll start to spot people doing it wrong around you and you'll avoid them then so it's a right turn third exit nothing's on the right checking my left side and coming to the middle there's your first exit on the left keeping the right signal on, checking the mirrors to the left, signaling left at this point in the left side lane, coming across to the left where the curb is, and then following the road ahead. So what we're going to do now is a right turn fourth exit. So I've got myself in position on the right lane on the approach to the spiral roundabout. We're going to do the fourth exit, it's going to be a, a U-turn because there's only four exits on this roundabout. And we'll start from the same place. We're not going to go to the middle straight away, so we're going to delay it by one exit, because that's that way you're delaying the lane change. It makes, it makes a big difference. So check your mirrors. Signal to the right. Keeping the gap from the car in front of me. Got a nice gap straight away. There's your first exit. I'm in the right lane. There's your second exit. Now I'm checking my left side and I'm going to come across to the middle lane. Right signal on. 
There's your third exit. Signal's coming off, checking the left side, signaling left, taking the fourth exit, coming off that way. I hope this has helped you to understand a little bit about spiral roundabouts. If it's helped, fantastic. Give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share the video and leave a comment at the same time. Take care, everybody. See you next time.